Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Leslie Ann here. Oh wow, I've got something for you today. Look at the lashes. They feel like Daisy the cow. Yeah, I've tried the new Tatty Lashes. Um, there we go, that's the box, the Tatty Lashes. Bought them myself. I wasn't like asked to collaborate or to share an affiliate link or anything like that. I've just seen so many people use them. Um, I'm I'm absolutely hopeless with things like lashes, in all honesty. I've got some magnetic ones, which I find really, really simple. Use those sometimes. Strip lashes that you put the glue on, hopeless, absolutely hopeless. Always have been with those. I have worn them in the past, but I, oh boy, do I struggle with them. So when I saw, you know, everyone reviewing these, really, um, I thought I'd give them a go myself. So first time not too bad i guess i can only get better from here see how well i did take a look at this right okay my lovelies so i'm going to try these new tatty lashes i'm very late trying them i've been looking at them and i just thought i don't know if i can do it or not so let's have a go so i'm just going to pop a little tiny bit of mascara onto my lashes my you know, like my natural lashes that is what it's telling me to do. There we go. Let's just pop a little tiny bit of that on. Um, and then they say to get the lashes out and to sort of line them up. I have gone for the like the natural look. You can have like the glamour look, the natural look. So I've just got my natural, especially for now. Um, okay, let me just pop my specs on for a moment. This is the trouble when you wear glasses as well. It's a little bit kind of more of a, you know, trying to sort it out a bit. Okay, so we've got the different lengths here. So you've got little bits here that you can stand your little pots of glue in. And you've got eight millimeters, 10, 12, and no, two, two rows of 12. 110 and 18 so i'm going to give it a go obviously i suppose you work outwards in don't you i imagine anyway let's give it a go i'm just going to go for it guys what can i lose eh what could i lose what could go wrong i could just open this first that'll be a help all right get this out take my little protector off and then go with the bonding glue. So I'm going to put some of that on, obviously, the bonding glue. Make sure I get the right end. <laughs> okay, let's double check that. Okay, so we've got the bond adhesive and that's the cure. So this is the one that I need. Yeah, this one here, that's the bond. So I'd have to bring the mirror up a little bit as well because otherwise I won't be able to see. So I'm going to go in with the bonding glue. The little thing looks like that and the wand has got a slight little tilt on it so that it's easy to apply. So I'm going to use my other mirror. This is like 10 times magnification. Let's do it. And I don't know if I put it all the way how far I'm going to go with this I'll just go to there maybe and I think you really are meant to do it at the end like right underneath but let's have a go all new to me okay glasses back on while that sort of doing whatever it's doing um, I'm going to go for a 12 on the outside Okay, I was being too gentle with that. So I'm going to do it that way. Okay, is that go? How does it go? It goes? No, it goes. I'm hopeless, guys. Hopeless. I don't know what on earth I'm doing. I might use a try moving my fingers. I'm a little bit cack handed with that sort of stuff. Let's give it a go. Oh. Dropped it. Where's it gone? 
This is so me. This is so typical. There it is. Hairs on your chest, guys. So I need to do it so that they're that that way, don't I? Yeah. Okay. No, I need the I need the thingy, the little tool to do it with. And that. Okay, let's give it a go. Oh. Oh my goodness me. Got one on. Look at that. That just stuck. Oh my goodness me. Straight away, let's get. I'm not going to put like many on, I don't think. Do I need another one of those, would you say? Um, yeah, I think I might need another one that same size. Oh gosh, how did I do this again? It's like, it seems so cacounded to me. Go on, next one. Oh! Poke myself in the bloody eye with it. I cannot believe how heavy-handed I am poking myself in the eye. Maybe next time I will go down here a bit more. Right, I'm going to do one of the next size. Getting the hang of it now. Finding this one a bit harder to do. Right, I feel like I need a little bit more bonding glue now, just on the inner part of the eye. I am quite cack handed at this sort of thing. I'm not. I have never found lashes an easy thing to do, ever. Wow, well, I'm not sure. But let me go in with the, um, the curing part to get this one done. I'm sure it's the sort of thing that you probably do get better, you know, the more you do. And this bonding gel you just put sort of like underneath bond it to the lashes well it's my very first attempt it's been a little bit sort of cat handed but they actually do look quite nice, don't they? They don't look sort of too in your face. And I'm sure it's the sort of thing that you would improve on if you don't wear like lashes. I can get on quite well with the magnet ones, which I've used several times before. The glue ones, forget it, I'm hopeless. 
um, don't feel, you know, just don't feel it under there. I suppose you do a little bit, it'd be a lie to say you don't, but you don't, it's not like irritating or anything like that. So we're gonna, let's attempt to do the other side. <laughs> Um, and it was the black side first, wasn't it? Yeah, Bond. Let's see if it's any better on this eye. I don't think they're perfect. I think for the first time they're okay. Right, let me, um, what do you now? Set, cure, cure them. Right, well, they're not perfect, I know. However, that, I can feel this one a bit more. I think I might have, I might have just scratched my eye, of course. So these I did buy, I bought them myself, so I've not been asked to review them, but I've seen so many people use them, I thought I'd give them a go, do my own little review, you know. Pop a little bit of um, mascara just on the bottom. Just a tiny bit. And I think it would probably make a difference if I had added more lashes. I don't know. Um, but I think for somebody who's not really used to wearing them a lot, I think this is probably enough for me to kind of get used to. And you do you feel like you, like looking in the mirror, you do sort of feel like you've got your made up look done already. Um, I don't know how long they last. I really don't. You could maybe wear them for a couple of days. I've seen other people certainly wear them for a couple of days. Obviously, you, if you want to take them off, I suggest using, well, I imagine if you're using like an, a balm cleanser or like an oil-based cleanser, or you can certainly get the things, like the stuff to unbond it with as well. But I'm sure they'd come off, you know, really well using that type of um, a cleansing product anyway. But I um, yeah, I've given it a go now, and I'm sure we're good, you know. I mean, I'm not good at this sort of stuff. I'm really not. Makeup I can do, but the lashes I've never been great with, as I've already said. I'm a bit clumsy. I poke myself in the eye and all sorts of things. Um, but I'm sure, now I've done it once, I know what to expect. I think I know how much of the bonding solution to put on first. Um, so yeah, it's like, you know, it's a little learning curve, isn't it, really? Um, yeah, well, there you go. So I do feel like I've made a little bit of an effort. And if I go to bed like this and wake up with them on in the morning, whoa. That's 10 out of 10 for me then. I oh, just thought I'd share it with you guys. Let me know what you think. If you used them before, what your favorite type of lashes to use. Um, of course, these are the Tatty Lashes. Um, I'll put the link down below where I got them. Um, where did I get them from? I think I got them from, I can't remember, I think I went directly actually. I'm sure I went directly to Tatty Lashes. So I've got all the instructions here and everything. The step, all the different steps to use, which I didn't even look at. <laughs> so I'd advise that you look at that first. Um, and these were, with shipping, these were 18 pounds altogether so they're not they're not cheap i mean you can get false lashes a lot lot cheaper but then i'm absolutely i'm even worse with those to be honest so i think for a special occasion do you know what i mean or if you feel like just jazzing it all up a little bit for a day then something like this is really good so yeah i'm i'm, I'm well chuffed actually i mean i can't feel them i cannot feel them they don't feel heavy or anything like that really and honestly can't feel them at all now
so yeah there you go i'll pop the link down below in the description box where it says uh, uh where it says more click on that I'll take you through to the to the link directly where i got them from um i'm not getting you know any any sort of affiliate link or commission or being asked to review these i just fancied having a go getting them and just putting them on with you guys for the very first time um so yeah let me know what you think if you've enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and press that notification bell. And then we can have a chit chat in the next video. Take care everyone. Bye for now.